Back on the North Shore, work continues on the site work for our new house. Many of the trees were once on the lot have been cleared away, and it's time to think about the foundation. But a very big problem is right here. A rock ledge that pretty much sits exactly where the new house wants to be. Ed Akerley and his crew is going to help us with that problem. Ed, what's your plan? We're going to blast this ledge out of here so it's small enough to remove with an excavator. You might have the best job ever. A lot of people think so. <laughs> so how deep are you going to drill? This is about a 10-foot cut, so we're, we drill about three feet below that, so we'll be drilling 13-foot holes in this area. How many holes will you put into this? Well, 70, 80 holes. Like a piece of Swiss cheese? Yep. All right, what are you using for a drill bit? It's, it's a steel bit, steel casing, oh, and that. a carbide insert. That is a hunk. Very, very hard steel. How many holes can you get out of a drill bit? 300. All right. Are you ready to go? We're ready to go. I have my ear protection. Let's go. Me too. <laughs> Once the holes are drilled, it's time to load them with explosives. Each hole gets a nitroglycerin primer with an attached detonator cap. If the hole has water, they use hydrolyte as an explosive. If the hole is dry, they use a measured amount of ammonium nitrate. P-stone goes in on top of the explosive to contain the blast. The fuses are clipped together and all connect to one main lead line. Heavy mats made of old radial tires are layered on top of the blast site to contain the explosion. Each mat weighs about 5,000 pounds. Without them, rock could blow everywhere. Ed's running what looks to be a wire, but it's not. It's a hollow tube filled with a chemical. He'll attach a blasting cap from a safe distance. It'll actually ignite the chemical inside the tube and thereby ignite the explosives down inside the rock. Pete's going to detonate the shot, and he can explain to you how that the detonator works. You have the best job. You get to blow it all up? That's right. All right, so how do you do it? Well, what we have here, it's, a, it's called a mushroom starter. Yeah. It's a 209 shell primer. OK, great. Shows. And that goes right there. Goes right in there. If Don't you want to plop it in there. Put it in, in now? We'll put it in there. You sure? And we get our lead line. And what we do is we snip our lead line. Well, so there's that hollow tube. Yep. And that end just fits right in the end here. Put the top on. Okay. Wait All for right. our signal horns and ready to go. All right. Heads up. <laughs> that explosion took the top of the ledge right away, and we're down at least 10 feet. So now the operator will clear away the rubble and stone, and they'll do a series of other blasts, maybe three or four more.
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.